Hi, in this video I will show you how to update a SharePoint column type person or group using the HTTP API REST API. Okay, let's start. So this is my SharePoint list. It's called AJ list and test person that's a column. It's the type is set as person or group. So let's go to the list settings. Okay, click on the test person. So the column name is called the test person. So you can see here field is equal to test person. And also I set here allow multiple selections as yes. Okay, so in this example, um, I will show you how to update using uh, more than one values over there. Okay, using the HTTP way. Right, so let's go back to the list again. So as you can see, there is no values here under that column type now. Yeah. Okay, so this is the flow I built. So here I'm using a manual trigger. Next, I initialized an array variable called users. So we need, I am, uh, for this example, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to use two users, two values I need to update. So for that, I'm going to declare an array and I named the variable called users. Next, I'm using a send and HTTP request to SharePoint um, using the SharePoint connector, setting the address name get, then get by email. This is one of the user I want to update. Okay. Next, I need to capture the ID of that user. For that, I declare a compose and then the expression I used is body of the previous in, um, the previous step which is send and HTTP request to SharePoint you can see here the underscore is for the spaces that's the syntax we, we, uh, you need to follow and then D and uh, ID okay so that gives you the ID of that user right next once we got the ID I'm going to append that value to that array variable which I declared earlier okay this, is, this step is for the second user, which I am going to get the ID again. So it's the same exact step as the one which I shown you in the previous step. So here again, um, setting the address, get, it's a get request and using the get by email. Okay. Again, using the similar expression, but the only difference here is the body name is slightly different. It's going to be underscore three actually, because I got send an HTTP request to SharePoint space three there. Okay, rest all it's the same syntax D and the ID. Once we got that second user's ID, I'm going to append to the array variable again. Okay, so at this stage, we got two users' ID we stored under the array variable. Next, I'm going to uh, map that user's value into the compose, um, into the into a compose. Yeah, so once this has been executed, this compose will have those two users' um, IDs. Final step, okay, this one I need to explain a little bit more. So the first step is set the address, then set the method as post, then under the URI, my list is called AJ list. So get by title, AJ list, item 32. So item ID, I know the item ID, which is called 32. So I just hard coded that value. If you just know the ID, then Possibly you can add another step here to find the ID of that uh, uh, list Which or you want to update against okay, so for this example, I'm just going to hard code that value Next the accept application slash JSON semicolon or data equals ver verbose content type if match then this is very important X HTTP method should be a merge, otherwise you get an error actually. Then finally, under the body, what we need to declare here is underscore metadata type is SP data dot your list name, which is AJ list item. Okay, that's the name you need to give it. Remember, my list name is called AJ list, so you can call it as SP dot data dot AJ list item. That's the type, and remember that's. Uh, that's this is under the curly brackets 
then comma then again double quotes with the test person id okay so you need to use the uh, your column name uh, the person or group which is called the test person but for updating that values you need to use test person id which is quite important also then again the curly bracket with results and mapping the array output which is this of the users so let's run this flow and see how that's going to work out okay looks like my flow ran successfully so again go through the steps again initialize the array send a HTTP request that's 200 as you can see here it sends ID uh, I'm capturing the ID here that is 13 appending to the array that is 13 value again then again for the second user it's the same request with a different email ID under the combos I'm capturing that ID that is 15 again up into up into the array so this array will have two values now at this stage finally I'm just mapping that under the combos the array value which is going to be in this format of square brackets 13 comma 15 then finally under the sent request as you can see under the header the header setting we set remember this is very important here to put that as a merge and the method is post and the body is underscore metadata type is sp.data.aj list item then under the test person that's the syntax you need to follow there is not much documentation i haven't seen much so remember you need to put a square bracket square bracket 13 comma 15 if you are going to directly you know mapping those values that's the reason i used an array variable so that i can just flush those values in that format okay so let's go and see go uh, go back and see the results then here it is those two values been updated successfully so let's just to recap again go back to the edit and the final step the final step is the post get uh, by title with your list name with the item id which is important so here for the example as i mentioned earlier i'm using an id which is an hard-coded value okay which i know that's the value for that list item then accept content type if match x http method set as merge finally inside the body metadata type uh, remember to put sp.data.aj list which is my list item name um, then test person results then mapping that final output of that array thank you for watching